Hello and welcome. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming to the talk today. We're going to be talking about don't build a distributed monolith for the next hour. I'm going to help you hopefully avoid all these mistakes uh, that commonly lead to a distributed monolith when you're trying to build microservices. I want to start out with a story. Uh, recently, a client came to us at Trailhead and said, we've just finished a very well organized and architected microservices architecture, and the application is just about to launch, but we have just a couple of small problems with the application that we'd like you to look at. They're performance related, uh, but if you could take a look at those two small issues and then help us launch the application, we'd really appreciate it. Well, it didn't take us long of looking at their code and their architecture to figure out they had not actually built microservices. They had built something called a distributed monolith. And we're going to be talking about what that means today. Uh, but it's far from the only time that a client has come to us with something that they aimed at microservices that became a distributed monolith. And that's the reason that I created this talk. It's I wanted to share the common mistakes that we saw at Trailhead with all of our clients that came in with these distributed monoliths and how we believe they got to that point so that you can build your own microservices while avoiding these same mistakes. So I'm gonna talk through the 10 most common mistakes that I've seen from all of our clients and prospective clients. 